Hi there, in this video we are going to make uh, affirmation cards that you can sell as printables or uh, print them out yourself and sell them at you know, your local markets or online, however you wanna do it. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna click Create Design and we're gonna go with a custom size and for affirmation cards, I like to go with um, four inches wide, six inches tall. Okay, that's pretty much a recipe card, you know, um, a photo. So that's the size I like to go with. And once we have that blank four by six up, we are gonna go over to ChatGPT, okay? And we are gonna ask ChatGPT to uh, give us, let's just do, um, let's just do a generic 30, give me a list of 30 positive affirmations in table format. Make it a single column and use no numbers or bullet points. Every now and then ChatGPT likes to add, you know, number your list and we don't want the numbers and we don't want the bullet points for our use. So <clears throat> I'm just asking it to do it uh, without both of those. So we're going to click enter and while that is generating we are going to go back over here and we are going to start to design our affirmation card um, I am thinking I want um, let's do a watercolor background and if you are making them to sell keep in mind that you can only use free elements from Canva unless you are uploading your own. So I clicked on my filters and I selected free. And I think we're gonna use this one, this pretty blue with the um, like leaves right there. I, I just think that's really pretty and really calming. So, and then I'm going to take this extra, and I think I'm gonna put that along the bottom there. And I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna flip it horizontally. And I'm going to bring them together at the bottom. You know what, I am changing that background. I think I'm going to go with this one. Keep it nice and neutral. But I really like that. Okay, and now we need a text box for our affirmation. Okay, and in here I'm just gonna leave it blank for a second because I'm going to go back over here to chat GPT and I'm going to look at all of these um, affirmations it gave me. And I'm going to copy pretty much the longest one I see, okay? Because we're going to use that as our placeholder over here. And we want to make sure that is centered well, okay? In fact, these two pieces here going to group them. I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to move them up here. And I am going to rotate that 180. And I'm going to center that right there. So we have that coming in from the top and the bottom. 
and then we're going to put our affirmation right there in the center. I think that looks really nice. Okay, so this is what our largest affirmation, our longest affirmation is going to look like, and that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that the longest one we have is centered well, because that's going to help us when it comes to uh, centering all the rest. Now we're going to pick our font. I think I want something... Do I do this one? Yes, I like that. So we're going to take that and we're going to make sure that is centered. And I think... Yep, I like that just the way it is. All right, so now we're going to go back over here to ChatGPT. And all we're going to do is copy all of our positive affirmations. Okay, we're going to copy. We're going to go back over here to Canva. And now we're going to scroll down on the far left, and we are going to find Bolt Create. Okay, we're going to click on Enter Data Manually. We're going to clear the table. And then we are going to paste our affirmations into this table. And at the top here, we're going to name it Affirmations. Then we're going to click Done. All right. Now you need to take this data field over here on the left, and it needs to be connected to a text field on your design. So this text field here, we're going to select it. Here at the three buttons, we're going to select Connect Data, and we're going to select Affirmations, okay? And now that is going to put our affirmations that we just pasted in into our design, all right? And once we have them connected, we'll click Continue. And now it's to asking if we want to apply the data and generate our design. So we're going to click Generate 30 Designs. And it has now given us 30 positive affirmations that we can bundle and sell as a printable file or we can download and print ourselves and sell them as physical affirmation card bundles. Um, once you have all of your pages generated, I just like to come through and center my text. Um, we did do it with, you know, our longest affirmation, so that gave us a really good starting point, but there's always a little bit of tweaking that you need to do, which only takes a moment, really. Um, most of the most of it is just moving your text up or down just a hair. And once we have them like that, let me finish them quick. It won't take but a minute. And you can do these um, for different niches. You know, you can do, uh, you know, positive affirmations for kids. You know, little, uh, you know, words of encouragement to say to themselves every day. Um, you can do them for uh, new moms, uh, pregnant moms. You can do them for addiction and, you know, mental health issues. So you can really um, dig deep with these affirmation cards and make them for a variety of you know, niches and, you know, you could have, honestly, you could probably have an entire Etsy shop just with affirmation cards, uh, printable affirmation cards for people and, you know, little bundles of like 30 or even 31. So, you know, for those long months, they have one for every day of the month. This one was just, you could do one for business owners, you know, small business owners, entrepreneurs, people who are just getting their businesses started, um, grandparents. Uh, it, there's just so many 
possibilities uh, with these affirmation cards, you know, that you could do. Um, now, you can uh, save this now as a PDF and it will give you a bunch of different pages. Um, what I like to do is I like to make a new design now and I like to make it eight and a half by 11. Because that's, you know, our standard uh, printing paper. And I tend to just take one design at a time, one page at a time, C, and I like to copy it into my new page. And I line them up. I believe we can get two per page. Actually, we can get three per page if we uh, put them in like this. But you can, you know, put them in this way so that when uh, when your customers uh, print them out, you know, they're not wasting quite so much paper. Um, but you could do it, put them together like that, or you could simply, you know, download them as an SVG, or I'm sorry, PDF. And you now have a bundle of 30 positive affirmations that you can uh, sell as a printable or as a physical product. It's up to you. If you want to do the printing yourself, you can print them, cut them, and bundle them in packages, or you can, um, this is a print preview. Do not want to fit to paper. We want to make it default. And there it is. We don't want to print on both sides. But now you can, you know, they can be printed out and cut out. Um, like I said, this is how it'll look this way. So, you know, if you want to take the time, you can certainly take the time to um, line them up on a, a new design so that it saves paper. Uh, when people are printing them. But that is how you make affirmation cards to print or sell super fast using Canva and ChatGPT. So I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will answer as soon as I can.